Hello everybody, KP here. Greetings from Louisiana. Figured I'd do a little video, a little vacation video as you may. With all the doom and gloom going on. Figured I'd show you all the sceneries around from Louisiana. This plantation here is famous. It had two movies filmed here. Sorry, my camera's shaking. One that got never released and one that was a big box office hit. It may not look like it, but two big time celebrity A-listers filmed a scene from a little movie called Interview with a Vampire. This uh, plantation here was the one for the scene of New Orleans on fire. They filmed all of that inside of this plantation. I can tell you, meeting those two celebrities, one was cool, and the other one, yeah, I'm pretty sure y'all know who I'm talking about, who the two celebrities are, so. Off to our next location. And this is our second location. This is a Hollywood house. It used to be an old house that somebody lived in. Then Hollywood came and bought it. A little known movie that was filmed here, unless you're a zombie fan, had the Governor star in it. You know, the one that says, I'll be back? Him. The movie was called Maggie. This is the house that they filmed that movie in. And there was another movie or TV show that was filmed here too. I just don't know which one it was. And off to the left over here is another plantation, which I'm gonna walk over there and do a little video of that one too. See you on the next one. Here's another plantation. And yes, not all plantations in Louisiana are huge. Somebody actually still lives in this one. I gotta go across the street for the info on the sign, so. All right, let's go to that one. And this is the information on the house, the plantation that I just showed you. Pretty cool, huh? And it's all, these two are in St. Charles Parish. Well, these three are in St. Charles Parish. Just for my own sanity, I'm not sure if I told you the name of the movie that was filmed here, but the name of the movie was called Maggie. Mississippi River, River Road. And here you see I-310, the Hellbox Bridge, named after one of our former governors. I filmed here once before. A lot of people liked it. So I figured I'd come back and do some more. The almighty Mississippi River. I-310. A lot of people don't realize how dangerous this river actually is. This, if this river could tell its stories, I'd love to sit there and listen. And unfortunately, I'm going to show you all some of the fatalities that happen in this river. Man, they need to cut the grass over here.
grain ships to haul our grain to foreign countries. The barges they use to transport all the grains from up north to down here for either processing or shipping overseas. Tugboat pushing barges. They don't only just do grain, they use chemicals and stuff like that to transport up and down the river. All right, next stop. One of the greatest tragedies that happened in St. Charles Parish. What happened was, there was a ferry boat that crossed from the West Bank to the East Bank. And allegedly the tugboat, ca well, the ferry boat captain was drinking on the job, got hit by a, a ship going northbound, if I'm not mistaken, and sank, killing a lot of people. When they raised the ferry up, they was investigating the inside to see if there was any kind of mechanical failures or whatnot. They opened up one of the drawers and they found an open bottle of whiskey some kind of hard liquor. A lot of men, women, and children was crossing the ferry, crossing the river on the ferry, and lost their lives. Some of them was coming home from a night shift. Some of them was going to work. Sad. They changed the monument since last time I was here. I like how they put these little plaques up to tell you the story of what happened and everything. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's the bell off the ferry. Off to the next one. Well, let's just run the light. Typical drivers, no matter where you go, you got those kind of people everywhere. And they can't make their mind what side of the street they want to be on. And we're at our next location. Gotta love how the moss just hangs off the trees. 
In the winter time, it's all creepy. <laughs> And if these trees could talk, I'd love to hear their stories. Especially that tree right there. That thing is huge. Candy is about 300, 350 years old. All right, let's go. As you can see, Destrahan Plantation Store. Right next door is the plantation itself. They have it open for tours. I'm not going to pay for a tour, but I'll show you all from afar. Now we're on the east bank side of the Mississippi. I-310 Hellbogs Bridge. I'm on top of the levee right now so I can give you a good view of the plantation itself because this thing is huge. One of the unspoken rules they got at this plantation is if you take a picture and a ghost shows up in it, you have to give uh, the, the plantation a copy of the picture. It's a pretty cool plantation, great tours. I went to it when I was a kid on a school field trip, so. I don't know if y'all can see, I'm out on the top of the levee. Great elevator down there. How high the levee is up, it's all the way up to the roof of the, of the plantation. Go down there and get closer so I can take a better video of it up close. Yeah, I got a fence I can hold my phone on to keep the phone steady. So it won't be so vibrating or wobbling or whatever. Destrahan Plantation. I hope y'all enjoyed your little mini vacation with me because I know some of the people that subs to me says that they feel like they go on a vacation every time I post videos like this. Hey, and you also got a little uh, history lesson on some of the things that happened out here in Louisiana. If you like to see anything else from Louisiana, drop it in the comments. Let me know something. I know a lot of people would love it if I went to Myrtle Grove, one of the most haunted, uh, haunted plantations in the United States. And with that, I'm going to end the video here. Let y'all enjoy this beauty of the plantation with the oak trees and the moss hanging down with the wind blowing in it and I'm gonna shut up now see you on the next one